Otani will not be making 700 million dollars. Well, at least until 2034. You see, Shohei Otani decided to defer his 70 million dollar a year payday until his contract is over. And rather than taking the big lump of cash now, he has decided to only be paid 2 million dollars a year up until 2034 when he will then start his 68 million dollar a year deal until the 700 million dollars is completely paid off. Also, as always, be sure to follow the page as we bring you the latest and greatest baseball content. You see, it is still unclear on why Otani has decided to take this drastic turn, but we do have some reasoning on why he may choose to only take 2 million dollars a year rather than his original 70 million. You see, the Dodgers are located in Los Angeles, California where taxes are through the roof. Nearly 50% of your income earned every year is already taken from you. Meaning, if Otani wanted to take the initial 70 million dollars a year, he will only be pocketing around 35 million dollars a year as opposed to him only wanting 2 million dollars a year for his remaining years in LA he will only be taxed 1 million dollars each year which is 50% of those 2 million dollars this not only is a great move by the Dodgers to have more room to sign players with that extra capital but for Otani as well as he could realistically move out of California in 2034 while he receives his 68 million million dollars a year where it's safe to say wherever he moves he won't be getting taxed 50 percent if he were to move out of california i mean from a business standpoint this is just brilliant by shohei otani because if he were to take 70 million a year while he was living in california after just 10 years he would have gotten taxed a whopping 350 million dollars half of his contract from the los angeles dodgers would have been gone down the drain due to taxes but due to Otani deferring and delaying his millions, he will only be taxed just 10 million dollars leading him to save over 300 million dollars that would have been taxed while living in california now this is if otani decided to get out of california which i believe he will when he does decide to finally take that wide sum of cash come 2034 now keep in mind this is all just speculation and a little bit of reasoning on why otani decided to delay his 700 million dollar contract until 2034 but as always let me know your honest opinions on this situation on whether you would have took the 70 million dollars a year and be taxed 50% each time or went with the Otani route and take just 2 million dollars a year but only be taxed 1 million ultimately leading you to bank in some more cash as always we do hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the video as we are here to bring you the greatest and latest baseball content for any questions feel free to let me know as i am always happy to answer anything asked my way that wraps it up on the newly brought otani news and of course i'll see you guys in the next video